Right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another live stream. Uh, we've done literally one live stream at least, well, at least one a day now. Uh, it's been quite fun to do. This is going to be the last one now for quite a while. Because uh, I'm actually leaving the place where I am today. Like, with good internet, I'm going to be leaving that now until quite a while. So I don't know. Uh, we've got a comment coming in. When are you playing? I am literally about to play now. It should be quite fun. Uh, as you saw on the end, like the name of this live stream, we are playing Rugby 20 without any rules. Uh, there's an option on this game where you can literally deactivate most of the rules. So it should be quite fun. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll play against a really the, well the lowest rated team on here first, and then we'll see how we, how we get on. Uh, let's deactivate the rules. Sending offs, no. Knock ons, no. Advantages, no. Offsides, no. Here we go. Um, I want to do that. That will be good. <laughs> uh, bonuses and challenges. We're going to activate. Score at least one try. Surely we should be able to do that. Uh, I'll activate that one as well. Um, yeah. Let's just make sure. It's on a good setting. Amateur will set at the semi-pro. Sound, yeah, everything's good to go. Right, let's go. Logan Davis, hi. Which former French player holds the record for most points scored throughout his career in the Six Nations? I'm going to say Yashvili. Yeah. What do you think of the Wales squad? As in, on the game or in real life? <clears throat> Six Nations. So in real life, I guess that means then. Uh, I think it's a good squad. I think for the first time ever, he's actually picked. Well, I got a whale squad has actually been picked on form. So I think that's a good thing. We never really had that with Gatlin. So hopefully it'll work out well. Ah, oh, core on kickoff. I have a feeling this game is going to bug out like crazy with all the rules off. Oh God. <laughs> I think this is going to go a bit weird. What have we got? What are the predictions for the Six Nations? I actually did a video on that. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go watch it. Uh, basically, I put Wales don't win. I'm not going to say any more than that. If you haven't seen the video, go watch it. What part of Wales are you from? I'm from Pembrokeshire. It's the west of Wales. God, this game is like a lot harder with all the rules off. Ah, oh, should have passed. What else we got? Um, do you think an update will be done for the Six Nations? I hope so. Uh, although it's not guaranteed. Go on, Josh Adams. Uh. Got the line speed now because the offside rule is uh, turned off. It's like. Very, very quick. <laughs> Can't get anywhere. I'm going to have to kick it. It's kicked clear by Parks. The ball's taken. Oh, God. Tackle. Tackle. Rock forms. Wales defended the rock really well and win the ball. Go on, North. Spreading it to the wing. Oh, I tried to step him. Any questions, guys, make sure you comment. Like I said, this is going to be my last stream for a while now. So if you have any questions, make sure you get them across now. I'm sorry about yesterday's stream as well. The cut off. The literally, for some reason, the Wi-Fi just completely disconnected me whilst I was streaming. I was quite annoyed about it, but at least there's another one today for you to watch. So, um, how do you think Louis Rousseau is going to perform? I reckon he's going to perform quite well. It already depends on what sort of game we try and play under Wayne Pivak. If we try and play how Gatland played, I don't think Rousseau is really going to fit in. Come on. 
Nail him. Oh, Jonathan Davis. Try. Uh, do you think there will be a ratings update? There is going to be a ratings update. Yeah, it's coming soon. The developers have said that. Uh, I'd imagine probably in the next four weeks, somewhere around that gap. I can't see it being any like longer than that. Uh, if you ever want points for the game, you get turns if you make another solo or put. But you put everyone in the wrong positions and play against the team with a great team. The I'll read that again. Hang on. Let me just take this kick. Yes. Right, what? If you ever want points for the game, you get tons if you make another solo squad, but you play everyone in the wrong positions and play against that team with a great team. Ah, oh, right, okay, I got you, mean, yeah. It's uh, like the team will be really low rated. Kind of says how difficult it is with all the rules turned off. Because, <laughs> like, literally, all these players now are going like, to just run into me. There we go. Wales managing to keep the ball. The referee says that's a rock. My north's on the wing, no one's out there. And again, go north. Ah, oh, every time. Here's the rock being created. Ball taken by Davies. He gets back onto his feet to challenge for the ball. Josh Adams. Ah, oh, he's out. Surely he's out. Yeah. No? Okay. Ah, oh, no. They took the ball in and it's still theirs. The ball has run out of steam here. The defence countering so well. What is happening? And the ball brilliantly won back by Wales. If you're literally just tuning in, make sure you go ahead and leave a question in the comments. Like I said, this is going to be the last live stream I'm going to be doing for quite a while. Uh, so, like I said, make sure you go ahead and drop a question. Themselves really well, ready to stop that Jonathan Davis. Ah, oh, I couldn't get the kick away. Ah, oh, Josh Adams. Ah, oh, he's tackled backwards. Who else we got? Uh, do you think the ratings will be updated? Yeah, I answered that question just now to somebody else, I think it was. Uh, the ratings will be updated. I, like I said, I'd imagine within the next month. I can't see an uh, update being anything after that. As in, like, taking that long. Uh, what else we got? I got Colby, but he's not even fast, and he's fat in the game. <laughs> right, okay. Good job I didn't get Colby there. I was really trying to get him. Maybe, like I said, that'll be updated before long. Come on. Oh, oh interception. Oh, no. No, he's fended me. Tackle him. Ah, oh, he's got it. Yeah. Who's my favourite player to play with? Uh, at the moment, Henry Slade is a really good player in this game. The pace he's got is insane. I got Ibn Etzebeth in uh, my squad, was it yesterday? And he doesn't really make that much of an impact. He's rated 83 on this game, but he just doesn't seem to play very well. Uh, could you possibly play as Benetton next? Yeah, sure. I will. That kind of says what sort of game it is when you turn off all the rules, isn't it? I drew with one of the best teams in the game against the worst team in the game, and we drew. Uh, he has 95 speed, but there's players of 80 pace that feel much faster. Alright, oh, okay. Which body operates top 14? I'm going to say that one. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the LNR, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, you want to see Benetton, okay. Home or awake it. Which one do you want? Do you want white or home? 
It doesn't matter. Home. Okay, yeah. Uh, we'll play then Zebra. I think they're a good derby. Uh, what else we got? What pack do I recommend buying? Uh, the best player pack, I would say. Uh, I bought Toulon's pack again yesterday. And what another thing, when you buy the squad packs, you don't get the whole squad. You only get four of those players. Just in case any of you guys didn't know that already. All the rules turned off, yeah. Uh, I've just been getting the 30,000 gold players pack. Yeah, it depends on who you want. With the 30,000 pound, uh, the 30,000 one, uh, you only get two decent players. If you buy the squad ones of what you like, let me answer this question. How many clubs have been managed to, uh, if, nah, I should said three. Uh, yeah, it depends what sort of player you want. With the 30,000 pack, you get like two decent ones and the rest of them are kind of amateur. Uh, whereas if you buy an actual squad pack like Toulon, you get about three decent ones. So obviously what team you pick. I mean, if you pick one of the worst ones from like the Pro D2, you're not really going to get that many decent players. Well, you won't get, well, you get like average players. You won't get anybody amazing. Uh, can you please open a pack? You have so many points. I'm trying to save it for solo mode. I've completed one season on it. I want to save for next season, but if you really, really want me to open one pack, I tell you what, if we get to 15 people watching, no, actually no, I'll say 20. If we get to 20 people watching, there's currently 11 at the moment, I will open a pack, okay? How's that? So make sure you tell like, your friends or whatever to get people watching, and I promise I will then open a pack. Oh, right over. Oh, still going. Still going. What a try. What do you think of Ty Furlong being rated 64? Yeah, again, with the ratings, they were... Well, mind you, Tyke Furlong was always a really good player. So I don't know why he was rated 64. It was done by... Ah, oh, what's the... Uh, social media page. It's got Rugby Pass. They, they're the ones that did all the ratings. It wasn't actually done by the developers. And Rugby Pass obviously being a very uh, high... Like, sort of... High-powered rugby company you would have thought but they would kind of get them accurate but it doesn't really make Jesus that was a terrible tackle yeah you would have thought they would have got them accurate but some of them are way off but apparently like like I said on uh, Twitter rugby 20 have said that they're currently trying to work with rugby pass to try and sort out the updates so hopefully that answers your question There are 13 people watching now. Like I said, if we get to 20, I will open a pack for you all. What else we got? Uh, this. No, never mind. Have you ever played Rugby World Cup 2011 on Xbox 360? I played it on uh, PS3 actually, and uh, it's a really good game. This is the only game since then that I've generally felt that it's borderline almost as good as it. When is the first update? The first update actually came out on the first day of this game's release. I don't know if any of you noticed that. The moment you install the game, uh, was it? Yeah, I installed the game and then they said uh, there's an update available for it. And I was like, alright, oh, okay, so I updated it. So I'd imagine that you must mean the next update. I would imagine, like I said, some time between now and four weeks. I would say it would be done, if I was to make a, like an exact, like, roughly, kind of like what week it'll be. I would personally probably say it would be the first week of the Six Nations. Ratuva. Oh, he's still going. Oh, he didn't get it. 
kept by Zebre. Palazzani breaks free, takes off. Benetton Trevisa managed to recover the ball. <laughs> the only thing I'm disappointed with as well is I want to see more stadiums. Like, I'm not, I don't even care if they're not licensed. I just want to see more stadiums. Like, I feel like you have these massive stadiums, and then the next, like, the next smaller one is a tiny little park you'd see in a village. Like, so, I just feel like there needs to be more club-looking stadiums, personally. And it passes between the posts. Like I said, if we get to 20 viewers, I will that go ahead and buy a pack. So if you are just tuning in, in touch. make sure you uh, tell your friends or whatever if you so want to see me buy a pack. For this line out. Ball for Nagel. Oh, he was excellent in that contest. It's a rock. We are playing with rules turned off, so offside is allowed. <coughs> Knock-ons are allowed. And there's, well, mind you, high tackles, I think, are allowed. Because obviously that's not really something that you'd want to see in a real game. Go on. Ah, I can't get it. Pick it up. What are you doing? Ah. I think I'm going to try and do a kicking game more if the offside rules are allowed. I can just put it downfield and let all my players can get there. So I'm just going to do that. So I kick it now. Ah, it's tackled. Benetton Trevisa managing to keep the ball. Here we go, Ratuva. It is interesting that they're now resorting to a kicking game. Ah, oh, I couldn't kick it. He got there before me. Ah, oh, he's away. Great catch. That was not easy. Not today. He breaks I've noticed you the number nine frees the ball. Benetton Treviso should have a rock. Benetton Treviso still in possession of the ball. Ball still in the hands of Benetton Treviso. Gets back onto his feet to challenge for the ball. They must get the ball out to the wingers. They're trying to create danger using the grubber kick. Successful effort out of the tackle. Ball taken by Haywood. Yuani comes through with a stiff arm. Benetton Trevisa keep the ball. Gets his hands free in the contact. And they keep possession. Ferrari passes the ball. Oh, sit down. The attacking team keeps the ball. The ball's kept alive. That was a really soft attempt of the tackle. Ball kept by Benetton Treviso. Sarr passes after the tackle to Ioane. Needs support. One more player comes into the left. They're going to work hard for the ball. Benetton Treviso still in possession of the ball. The tackle was missed. Yeah, that is dangerous. That has to be punished. I agree. The referee absolutely right to penalise him. To Balvi for the penalty kick. To Balvi lines it up, seeking three points. Recovered by Allen. Allen, who tries to give his teammates a breather with a kick that stays in play. Yeah, that's how to keep the ball alive. And we'll have a throw in for Benetton Trevise. It's a full line out. Well taken. He just wasn't concentrating on the pass. Not a good pass by Bud. He'll have to be careful. He's missing too many passes. Great precision and really good timing for that offload. No time left on the it's clock. The We're into the red zone. Stopped. Looks like the drive by Benetton Treviso has been stopped. Tremendous defending. Allen. 
Kalat San takes the ball. Solid handoff there. A great platform to attack from here, from this rock. Pass. Wonderful technique in that offload. Which way is he going to go? Incredible! Ball still for Benetton Treviso. They've got space out wide. He's taken to the ground. Now he has to release the ball. In they go to the rock. They've held on to the ball. That takes it on the outside. There's a rock being created. They still have control of the ball. Saab passes to Pagano. Big tackle. Ball still in the hands of Benetton Treviso. There's not a great deal of support there. The ball is kept by Benetton Treviso. They're moving the ball well. The referee says that's a rock. Ball still in their possession. Well taken. Oh, wow, that was a little bit high. It's a rock. He stopped. Quaglio keeps the ball moving. There's space outside for Ioane. Fouzer piles in to get the ball for his team. He passes it. Great precision and really good timing for that offload. Set up a run. Benetton Trevisa will keep the ball. Yeah, that's how to keep the ball alive. He's back onto his feet to challenge for the ball. Baldi with Sabi. It's a rock for Benetton Treviso. The ball is in the hands of the scrum half. Tebaldi. Opportunity out wide. Rock forms. That's still a ball that can be used by Benetton Treviso. And the attack leads to a rock. They've held on to the ball. Allen passes to Ferrari. Really sharp thinking for that pass. A grubber kick behind the defence. Hayward recovers the ball. He's tackled. Ball still in the hands of Benetton Treviso. To Baldi will get us going again. The ball's passed. They're scrapping for the ball. Benetton Treviso keep the ball. Rock. Benetton Treviso managing to keep the ball. A rock's formed. Benetton Treviso still have control of the ball. Rock for Benetton Treviso. They still have control of the ball. Tackle made. More support coming in with Bud. Well played out wide. The referee says that's a rock. Strong work from Stay. Recycled. Out of contact for Ferrari. Rock. They keep the ball. Oh, look at the energy, the dynamism of it all. Attacking options here for the number nine. That's a clever pass out of the tackle. There's room on the outside. Then they go to the rock. Benetton Treviso still in possession of the ball. Benetton Treviso should have a rock. To Baldi, who gives it to Sabi. And a rock is formed. Oh, they've managed to steal the ball in the rock. They set up a rock. Driving into the rock with the shoulder. Fizer teaming up with Allen. They've managed to keep possession of the ball. The ball is being moved very quickly. They took the ball in, and it's still there. And the attack leads to a rock. And coming in to add his support is Miyagi. He offloads the ball out of the tackle. The ball is kept by Benetton Treviso. A rock's formed. They still control the ball. It can go wide. It's a rock. Slamming into the rock comes Stay, the grubber. Haywood takes the ball to the ground. The ball is kicked clear by Haywood. 
He caught that ball well, brilliantly positioned. He gives the ball. It's a rock. The attacking team keeps the ball. A great platform to attack from here, from this rock. The ball's kept alive. And the road laps to be found out wide. The ball's taken. They're scrapping for the ball. Benetton Trevisa still in possession of the ball. He's keeping the ball in play. It's a rock for Benetton Trevisa. Benetton Trevisa still have control of the ball. Manages to get the offload away. Rock for Benetton Trevisa. Fouzer adding to the conversation. He gets back onto his feet to challenge for the ball. A poor pass by Teboldi. They really should be getting the ball out to the wingers. Benetton Trevisa put an end to the attack with that turnover. There's the tackle. Here's the ruck being created. They pile into the ruck. Barbini making his presence felt. Good passing. Might be worth spreading it to the wing. That's ridiculous. What a break. Getting ready to convert the try. It's good. <laughs> and the match is over. Victory for Benetton Trevisa. Now a 75,000 points. saying that my microphone is working.
Oh my guys, can you hear me now? Can everybody hear me or? I think the microphone's back working. I don't know what happened then. That was really weird. Uh, right, comments coming in. Uh, let's see. Rugby Way always the one of the best. Yeah, Rugby Way personally, I felt is always going to be the best rugby game. Uh, but like I said, for this generation, I think this game is decent and it's worth a buy if you aren't already. Uh, do I think the rocking feature is tad broken? I don't think it's that. I haven't had any issues any with it anyway. Uh, I've had a few bugs I've encountered, uh, but overall it's not that bad. I uh, really hope we sort out the AI not winning any rucks. It's way too easy to keep Jacqueline in the ball. Uh, yeah, I think that's quite annoying as well. When I, I, I said yesterday, I felt like the square option shouldn't be there. Personally, I feel like it should just be press and circle to try and win the ruck back. I don't think. Because like, like square, you could be a really easy team and you could be playing someone like New Zealand and you just press square and you steal the ball off them every single time. I don't think that feature should be there at all. Um, still hard to believe South Africa won the Rugby World Cup back in 2017 and 18. No one really gave them a chance. Yeah, I, I thought that as well. I think they kind of gelled at a good time. And uh, that's why they're world champions. Uh, what else we got? Wales has a good chance to win the Six Nations. I think England will be the only team to give them a game. Ireland will be hard to going over to Dublin will not be easy. No, I don't think that either. Personally, I think uh, like I predicted Wales to finish third in the Six Nations, uh, just feel like that they're going to take a while to gel together under a new coach. Alright guys, everybody watching, do you want to see me? Oh, I unlocked, as you probably saw, the Ulster pack. I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, do you want to see me open it? Or shall I wait and leave it for the series? What do I do, guys? TX Jonesy, you say yes. Go on, guys. Anybody want to see me open the pack? Or shall I leave it? Think, do what is best for you. Right, okay. You want me all right, okay, I'll open it. Okay, here we go, man. Ready? Let's see who we've got. Three, two, one. No one good. <laughs> uh, I was hoping to get someone really good, but never mind. I could try and I might sell some of my players to be honest with you. Uh, who should I sell? J. Andrew. Uh, unlucky. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a massive disappointment. I built it up and it was just, just literally just crumbled right before me. Should I open the other one then? I don't know what that is. It's obviously, I'm guessing it's a pro D2 team. I'll open that one as well for you, shall I? Who have we got? Nobody good either. Ratavu may be decent. Mind you, I've been trying to get a good winger, so... Alright, I'm going to sell some players. Um, the thing is, I need to know who I have in my lineup, so I'm going to have to go to here. Buy an epic players pack. We'll see how much money I have when I sell them, yeah? We'll do that. Um, my cards. Alright, so these are the ones I'm currently not using. So what I'll do is I'll add him to my team. Uh, I don't want anybody else because I just feel they're not good. Sell. Yes. 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 Here we go. Um, is there anybody in my squad I want to sell as well? So like that. Geneva, I think I might get rid of him. He's not very good. Yeah, let's remove him. Artemeyev. No, I'm going to keep him because I quite like him as a player in general. 
Julius Nostat, yeah, we'll get rid of him. Tyne Basham, we'll get rid of him. McAfee, we'll get rid of him. There you go. Sell these. Also, as well, I want to thank everybody for subscribing. Uh, I've noticed we've hit over 7,000, no, over, what am I on about? Over 1,900 subscribers we've got hit now. Uh, I think it's like 1,910 or something like that. So thank you everybody for subscribing. Let's try and get to that 2,000 mark just before summer. It should be doable. Uh, right, you want to see me open a pack. Right, okay. I'm going to give in because you guys keep going on. So, Epic players or shall I get an actual team? No, I'm not getting a team pack. I don't want to spend all my money. Um, epic players, is it? So you get epic players? Or do you want me to get epic variety pack? Epic players, right, okay. Here we go, we bought epic players. Right, now hopefully guys, this will be a massive build up now, okay? So drum roll, please, if you're sitting at home, drum roll the table. Three, two, one, go. Who have we got? Who have we got? Jack Conan again, and an unlicensed New Zealander. Great. <laughs> I've now got two Jack Conans. I've already got him there. So I have two Jack Conans in my team. Can I have him at number eight as well. Add the team. Tom Ellis. Flanker. Anybody under 70 is now going if you're a flanker. Ollie Cracknell. Yeah, no, mate, you're gone. Ollie Cracknell is being sold. Thomas Francis will keep him. And Javier Scott. Fit my team perfectly. Jack Conan will fit my team perfectly. <laughs> it's a shame I can't transfer players, isn't it? Uh, you can play both. Yes, I can, I know. Uh, can you play two of the same? Yes, we can. Now, that's what we're probably going to do, to be honest with you. Um, where is he now? Jack Conan. Shall I have him in both flanking positions or shall I have him... No, I'll put him here. There we go. <laughs> Jack Conan twice. Uh, centre. Who have I got in my centres? Robert Dupree. There we go. Xavier Scott is there. Where? Some guy that's made up. Uh, Robert Dupree then put on the bench uh, instead of Tran Duke. I think I might sell Tran Duke actually. Okay, Tran Duke's rated 79 and our other fly half is 82 which is Jack High so we'll just sell Tran Duke I think. 15 of you watching. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, like I said, if we get to... Actually, no, I'm not, I'm not even going to start carry on doing that. My money will be gone if I go ahead and buy another pack. Tell you what, if we get to 20, I'll buy a superior player's pack. And see who we get. I have Dave kill coin twice in my team. Alright, what's he rated in the game then? Let's remove Francois Tran Duke. Um... Actually, no, we'll get rid of Patricio Fernandez. And we'll keep Tran Duke. Um, have I got enough fullback positions? It's a shame I can't categorize it, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so it'll narrow it down now telling me how many of the players I have, is it? No. I want it sorted so I know, put them all together. Why can't I do that? It's not 
can I do it, is it? No. That's annoying. Dave Kilcoin's rated 90 in the game. Oh, right, okay. What does this actually do, then? Because it doesn't seem to be doing much. It just narrows it down. Toggle details. I was hoping to like, sort it so we get like positions, but never mind. Um... Yeah, we'll just sell him. Yes. Matavau, how many scrum halves have I got? Charlie Kasang. Yeah, we'll get rid of Matavau then. Where is he? Um, there, sell. Tom Cruise hooker. Get rid of him as well. I feel like these players are bringing my ratings down, so if I remove them, will that then balance it out? Or not? I, feel like I might have needed these players. Have I even got any props in the reserves now? I've got a few. Props we're fine with, so we can sell Artemayev. Hookers, usually we struggle with hookers. Uh, Dan Davis can sell him, he's very crap. Scrum off, we don't need another one of them. Uh, we'll keep Otten. Uh, we'll sell him. There you go. Um, you go into my cards to categorize them. Now, what am I doing? So, yeah, my collection, I guess, and you mean. Oh yeah, okay, awesome. Filter. Props, we have four. Hookers, we have four. Even if, well, yeah, locks, then we have five. We have three scrum halves. Fly halves. Okay, this now it down makes it a lot more easier. Right, okay. Awesome, thanks for that, mate. Um, yo, have you noticed that all the French players are really highly rated, yet the team has a pretty average rating? I guess it's because Big Ben is a French company. Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, well, mind you, Big Ben didn't do the ratings, like I said. It was uh, Rugby Pass that did the ratings for them. So they're not actually the ones to blame with that. And Rugby Pass, I think, are a British company, I believe. So, I don't know. don't know where they got the ratings for that one from. Uh, should be a good weekend of rugby. In general, I think the ratings are really unbalanced. What, is it for what team now? Or just in general? I think the ratings are... They're kind of mixed weirdly, I think. Uh, they are trying to work on that. They have said that. There's going to be an update soon to try and work on that. But, yeah, I kind of agree with you. Some of the ratings are very, very weird. And uh, you've got superstar players, and they're not rated that much. Like, Fafta Clerk and stuff. Fafta Clerk is rated, like, 75 on this game. Which, in real life, it should be, like, at least 90. So. What do you want to see me do next, guys? Should I open... I may as well open standard boost bonuses now. See what I get for that. Not really much, it's just challenges. Yeah, so I don't know if you already knew this, but if you buy one of these packs, you only get four players. I discovered that the other day. Because I bought the Toulon pack, and you don't get many players for it. Where's the Toulon pack there? Bid 36,000 for that. Wales would be bonus point to beat Italy, Scotland to beat Ireland, and France might be able to beat England. Yeah, the six, that's, what, that's the best thing about the Six Nations. You never know who's going to win unless Italy are playing. But then Italy, well, on their day, Italy can beat anybody. Uh, I'm just reading other comments as well as guys. Um, what else we got? 
keep up the good work. These, this is on my latest video. My issue with Rugby 20 is some of the player ratings. Stuart Hogg with 80 speed. Really? Uh, what else we got? Why you think Scotland will beat Ireland? That's not me. That uh, I was reading a comment of that one. I personally am going to stay away from match prediction videos. Uh, just because they don't usually go down well with a lot of people. I mean, I'll do match reaction videos. And I'll talk about them, but I'm not doing predictions anymore. Do you want to see my... I'll play as my squad now. Because I don't think Ireland are going to be that good this year. Fair enough. Got straight to the point there. It's your opinion. Um, we'll play as my squad and we'll play New Zealand. Although New it's not the official New Zealand, we'll just play them anyway. New Zealand need to be playing in black. How you can move down to how can you move down to upgrade teams? What do you mean, James Evans? What do you mean? France have a beautiful new young team. Yeah, also they got new coat. Well, they got the Sean Edwards they have isn't as well now, so they'll be one to watch, I think. Do you only stream on here or Twitch? I lately have well, I've only been streaming on here. Today is going to actually be the last stream for a while now. Uh, I've been doing one stream a day, and it's usually about just over an hour long. Today will probably be about two hours. Uh, but I have got a Twitch account. I did a poll of all of you guys saying, would you want to see me staying on here or doing Twitch? And I think it was like nearly 200 of you voted to stay on YouTube. Nobody watches Twitch. So I was like, oh great, I've set up Twitch now for literally no reason. So I think I quite like the idea to do it on both platforms. Uh, I just don't know about the whole thing yet. I don't know. Uh, fully Welsh. Yes, you have. Ah, oh, okay, you're just replying to someone, okay. Um, so, where you can buy cards and can, you can move down to buy upgrades for the team. Oh, you want to know where you can do it? I'm sorry, mate, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just being stupid. How, you, how can you move down to upgrade teams? So, where you can buy cards. You can move down to buy upgrades to teams. I'm really confused. <laughs> I think I'm just being stupid, I don't know. I've got so many comments coming up all at once. Um, if you explain it in... Like, explain it again in a different way and I'll, I'll try and answer it. Uh, I think the Saracen scandal and the loss of the World Cup final have put England in a bad place. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we haven't seen England since the World Cup, so you can't really say that at the moment. Well, I don't think, anyway. You can only get players by buying packs. Is that what he, is that what he means? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, France will have to be ready for the World Cup 2023. Yeah, well, that's an interesting debate, actually, as well. For the 11 of you watching, do you think France should have been allowed the World Cup again? Or would you have liked to seen a new nation have it? Me personally, I feel that if you've got if you had a World Cup in the last thirty or forty years, you shouldn't be able to host it again. It should be like football. Like you should be like it should be to a new country. Personally. Like I would have maybe liked to seen Italy or maybe America or somebody else host it. Or maybe even the Pacific Islands. I think that would be quite a cool one as well. Um what else we got? I'm on Twitch, always check out your videos for tips. Oh, cheers, mate. Brilliant. Have you got any tips for me? Uh, Liverpool won't win the Premier League. <laughs> oh, okay, you're going on about somebody's uh, channel name. Right, okay. Bath vs. Saracens in rainy night weather. Playing as Bath, please, mate. Right, okay. Um, 
What else we got? Um, USA too big and have their own sports, so they won't host the World Cup. They apparently they are actually rumored to be going for a bid for it. Uh, obviously not for the 2023 one, the following one. Apparently they have put a bid in for it. We haven't heard anything since that was announced. Was it halfway through the last World Cup? So it's it's possible. I would like to see it. Uh, I think Ireland should have gotten it. Oh, the World Cup. All oh, right, yeah. I think the big deal with that was... Well, mind you saying that. I mean, Ireland and Europe as well. I was going to say the big deal of that was like because England had it last time. And obviously, Britain is really close to Ireland. But then so is France. So, I don't know what I'm on about anymore. Alright, we're going to turn the rules back on now, guys. Uh, what else we got? Um, you can buy boosts for a team, e.g. Wales. Can you? Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I know you can buy the, the player pack things, if that's what you mean, yeah. Which player has scored the most tries in the World Cup? Uh, I'm going to say General Lomu. Uh, Italy won't have enough money. Uh, well, I don't know. Italy does have quite a lot of money. It's just because rugby doesn't rugby isn't the main sport over there. So I think that's what their big deal is, really. I think like they they they've hosted football World Cups before. It's just because rugby is kind of like maybe a second or third sport to them. So I mean, it's doable if the government and stuff obviously put the money into it. But whether they would or not, I don't know. England have a good chance of winning the Six Nations. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I don't think so. They're in a bad state. Oh, I'm replying to that previous comment. Oh, okay. It's great that all you guys are commenting here. I mean, we've had like nearly 100 comments now. So, 80, well, 90 comments coming through. Right, we got a new comment. What's that one? I think Japan should be in the Six Nations or the Rugby Championship. Yeah, that's another thing as well. What, where would you want to see Japan play? Would you rather that see them in the Six Nations or the Rugby Championship? Uh, I mean, I had that debate not so long ago. I think it was about two months ago I did a video on that. And it was kind of mixed reaction. And one person stated the fact that for Japan to play Argentina, it's like... It's hours. It's not. It's like not even doable. I don't think you'd have to fly to America and then go down, and it's, it's a long time to be on the road. I think countries like Georgia should join the Six Nations. Yeah, but then it wouldn't be the Six Nations, and then there's a lot of rugby to be played. That's the only thing. Because everybody thinks that, but if Georgia did join the Six Nations. It would also mean then that the game would, well, that whole tournament would have to go on for an extra, well, an extra, well, five weeks at the most, then, isn't it? Because everybody's going to have to play them. So I don't know. I might have done the math wrong for that. I probably have done the math wrong for that, but you get my point. It would go on a lot longer, and uh, whether that be for the, that, I don't think that would be for the good, actually, because. Uh, the season's long enough as it is. You must remember rugby is a, a very physical sport. The knocks you get and stuff as well. I don't right, by expanding the Six Nations and then having them to go back to their clubs and stuff. It's a very long time. Oh God! I'm trying to read the comments at the same time. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, what else we got? I think yeah. How? How do you think Scotland will do in the Six Nations? I think Scotland will probably finish fourth, to be honest with you. Um, I just feel like they had a poor World Cup, and it's the same as Ireland. I, I think everybody besides England is going to have a very standard World Cup, personally. How long have I been streaming for? It's got to be over an hour now, isn't it? I don't know, I've still got quite a while. I've got about maybe 45 minutes of free time, so... Um, Ireland is probably going to smash Scotland, in my opinion. Fair enough, mate. 
Um, well, it's the only thing about Six Nations for Japan is it is so far away from the other six teams. Yeah, but it's like, I think it's like a 13 hour flight. And then for the Rugby Championship, it's a lot longer the flights are. So apparently, practically, it's a, it would be a lot more better for Japan if they joined the Six Nations. Although, like, I, I can understand where you're coming from. Because, like, when you look at a world map, Japan look closer to New Zealand and stuff. But they're, they're not. Um... If I'm playing bad on this game, guys, it's because I'm trying to read the comments as well. I swear to God, if any of you say, oh yeah, that's just an excuse. I'm usually okay at this. Uh, what else we got? It would go on for another week. Yeah, but then every nation's got to play them. So... Would it go on? No, it wouldn't go on for another week, would it? Because if every nation's got to play them, I mean, it's an extra five games. So that would mean, well, an extra six games then, wouldn't it? Would it? I don't know. I, I suck when it comes to this. I remember the first video I did on uh, Six Nations. And I predicted, like, somebody would... Be, well, I can't remember what I did, but the table was completely wrong. I tried to do the points and the games and stuff. And it was like, you realise it works out, you're playing 12 games. And it's not even possible. And I was like, oh, all right, okay, sorry. Five. There are three more points on offer. I feel like I apologise way too much on this channel. I'm never getting that kick. Nope. There's the tackle. Here's the rock being created. Um Yeah, I've read all the comments so far then. Guys, if my mic goes quiet again, will you let me know please? Because uh I didn't know last time until somebody said I think his microphone's gone. I don't know what happened, it must have glitched or something weird, and I just basically get to unplug it from the PlayStation and then replug it. So, if it happens again, let me know, please. Uh, what did the update do today? What update? Was there an update today? I haven't updated today. Am I Welsh? I am Welsh, mate, yeah. Do you think the Rugby World Cup would work better with more teams in it? I think so, yeah. Even if it's just like an extra five teams or something, maybe like an extra group. I think they really need to do something about that because there's so many teams that are never going to grow in the world unless they qualify for a World Cup. Oh, God, this is going to be a try, isn't it? Oh, okay, it's fine. It's a scrum. Yeah, you had an update. And where, where are you from? Maybe it's like a thing that's only... Maybe it's an update for only your country. Where is it? Oh my god! I'm trying to read comments at the same time. Get in there. I'm Welsh too. Oh, awesome, man. What part of Wales are you from? Don't give away your actual town. But like the county or near around where you're from. Like I'm from Pembrokeshire myself. Oh, Ethan, you're from Wales too as well. Oh, so I don't know why the update... I don't know why you had an update and I didn't have one. Now then, this is good attacking ball. It was only a little one anyway. Oh, right, okay. I'm literally not watching what I'm doing at the scrum. I highly doubt I'm going to win this scrum back. I think it's sorted the kicking out a goal. Oh, literally, I've just given away a try reading the comment. Oh, right, okay. Um... I say you are so proud of Wales doing so well at the rugby and football. Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah, I think with the rugby, I'm obviously gutted that we didn't reach the World Cup final. I mean, it would have been amazing if we did, but to be honest, I can't understand what the tactics were in the last, like, seven or eight minutes. They just seemed to try and play for a penalty, which didn't make any sense. Uh, but that's sport, so you can't hold any grudges. 
Football, yeah, football is doing really well. Reaching the Euros for 7 2016 and obviously reaching the Euros for this year. Uh, it's exciting times to be Welsh. I had an update and I'm from Carmarthenshire. Oh, right. I don't know about it. Right, I'm going to try and focus on this game because I don't want to lose. And then I'll read the rest of the comments, okay? So keep commenting, guys. And I will reply to them at the end of the game, okay? Maybe I did have an update then. I don't, I don't know. I didn't notice an update. But then if it was just a small update, I wouldn't have noticed it, because my PlayStation would have just downloaded it without me knowing, so... We need to get a try very soon, otherwise it's game over for us. Here we go. You support Scarlet. Alright. I support the uh, Ospreys. The only reason being, I know Scarlet are the ones closest to me, but the only reason I support the Ospreys is because since 20, 2011 was the first time I ever bought a FIFA game, and I didn't know who to play as. It was kind of when I just first got into football, and uh, I picked Swansea because that was the only, that was the closest football team like that, that were in FIFA for us. And then when it came to rugby, I just started supporting the Ospreys because they're from Swansea as well, so that is my reason. Watson takes the ball. Although it's a sad time to be an Ospreys fan. Oh, that's a great tackle. Oh, poor ball retention. Bath, keep the ball. There's a rock being created. Bath, still in possession of the ball. They're passing the ball around well. Look at that footwork. It's just a blur. Still control the ball and can go wide. Ooh, quite a risky offload in that tackle. They still have control of the ball. The defense seems less effective out wide. Right, not long now. Just a few minutes to go. And the ball in the arms of the scrum half. Oh, look at the energy. The I am still here. You can still hear me. My mic is still on, don't worry. I'm just trying to really want to win this game. But obviously I can't win it now, but at least I can try and uh, maybe not. Uh. <laughs> uh, that, that went terrible. Uh, what else we got? You're a great YouTuber, mate. Love watching your live streams. Definitely deserve more subs. Oh, thanks, man. That means quite a bit. Well, it means quite a bit means a lot. I've been literally trying to do YouTube for years. It's taken me like five years to get to where I am now. I started doing like exploring videos and stuff, which I love doing. I love doing outdoor sort of stuff. Uh, and when I say outdoor stuff, I mean like finding forgotten ruins and exploring castles and everything like that. And I have done videos on that on my other channel. Uh, and also, if you are interested in that, guys, go and check that out. It's uh, type in Andrew H. Explorer and it'll come up. And then I've done like nearly 500 videos on that channel of all like exploring stuff which is the last qualifying place for the knockout stages of the top 14 uh, I'm gonna say 7 maybe not then uh, but yeah and then obviously I originally started out doing gaming videos uh, that was back when I was in the last year of high school and I kinda started growing from there and I just loved doing videos and stuff and then I moved on to going outdoors and doing exploring stuff um, and then I haven't done one, well I finished that last December and I haven't done one since just because I wasn't getting the views and I wanted to focus on this channel uh, but literally if, if all of you went over to that channel and started watching it I'd probably start it all over again if I was getting like at least 100 views per video I would happily start doing it again uh, it is a real shame like don't get me wrong I love doing these rugby videos but in like in like deep down in my head I'd rather be doing make or making a living from the outdoor videos just because I just love being outside 
but like I said, if you are interested to go check that out, it's uh, Andrew H Explorer, uh, and then all my videos are on there. Uh, what else we got? More comments coming in. I'm just saying I live so close to the Scarlet. All oh, right, okay. I'm guessing. Oh, I know where you're. Well. I'm not far away from where you're probably from then. I'm not going to give away any locations because obviously there's people watching and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I go there quite a bit shopping and stuff. It's, it's quite a uh, it's, it's good place for shopping. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, aren't Scarlet's better? They are better than the Ospreys. Yeah, thanks for making me mention that. Uh, Scarlet's are much better. Yes, okay, guys. Right, okay, keep rubbing it in. Personally, I'm a Glasgow's Warrior fan. All right, okay. I'm guessing you're from Scotland then, Alex, Alex McLannan. McLannan, yeah. Uh, what else we got? I think Warren Gatland is better coach than Joe Smith. A lot of people I know gone on how good Joe is, but Warren Gatland did more for Wales than Joe did for Ireland. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you did a comparison, I would. Yeah, I mean, Gatland is obviously going to be the better coach. I mean, he coached, was it three Lions tours? Uh, well, obviously two Lions tours, then he's going to be doing the next one as well. Uh, he's won Wales, the 2008 Grand Slam, uh, the 2012 Championship, well, the 2012 Grand Slam, last year's Grand Slam, uh, and obviously Rob Howley being a part of Gatlin's coaching setup. We also won the 2013 Six Nations Championship as well, uh, the Triple Crowns as well, going along with that too. Uh, he's got us to two Rugby World Cup semi-finals, knocked out England in their own Rugby World Cup as well. So, yeah, I mean, if you go by achievement, Scatland is obviously the better coach compared to Schmidt. But Schmidt was a good coach for Ireland as well. Uh, Alex McLannan, uh, yeah, you are from Scotland. What's that? No one can pronounce my name. Well, I'm going to give this a go, mate. This is actually a very fun challenge to do now. So I'm guessing it's Mac... Le McLennan. Is it McLennan? Alex McLennan. Let me know if I've said that right. Yeah, I'll try your surname now. I just want to know if I've said Alex's one right. Wow, second time. Is the yeah, awesome. Right, okay. Uh, and then we've got Ethan McMahon, McMa no, it's not McMahon, it's going to be McMahon, McMahon, Ethan McMahon, maybe. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I remember back in the summer when I, well, not the summer, the World Cup, when I was talking to the uh, Uruguayan fans in Spanish, I really tested my uh, skills there of talking. Try again. Uh, Ethan Ethan Muck, uh, is it McMahon? It's not. It's, it can't be McMahon because McMahon would be spelled Muck and then Man on. Or maybe Ethan McMahon. I feel like McMahon is McMahon. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> uh, it's actually quite fun doing that, to be honest with you. Uh, what else we got? Uh, wow, second time. Oh, yeah, I've just read that one. When you can, can you do a quick match Ospreys versus Scarlet? So, yeah, I'll do that now. Uh, just bear in mind, if I do lose, uh, it's because I keep reading in the comments. Uh, rugby, and you say your name because it's a bit awkward calling you, mate. It's okay if you don't want to. Can you say your name? Yeah, I, my name is actually Andrew. Wait, what? what? Did I even read that right? I might have said that wrong. Um... Rugby, can and can you say your name? Because it's a bit awkward calling you, mate. Yeah, it's okay. If you don't, yeah, my name's Andrew. Yeah. Let's see if you know how to say my name, right? Okay. So my name, my last name, is H A double -R, R I E S. So how would you pronounce that? Try and like type it out. Because a lot of people say it wrong, and it really, but it really irritates me. Obviously, it's not going to irritate me now, but I've told you guys to say it. But it's also it irritated me when I was in school and stuff. Ospreys and Scarlet are rated the same. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Do you like Andy or is that a big no? Uh, there's only ever one person that ever called me Andy. And uh, it was a girl I used to like. 
<laughs> nothing ever happened. Uh, but yeah. So since then, nobody's ever called me Andy. So maybe just stay away from Andy. Uh, score one try. I feel like I can do that. Win the match. Play in the rain. There we go. <laughs> oh, she fit. Uh, I feel like this is quite disrespectful considering I'm doing I'm like live streaming from my girlfriend's house while she's in work. <laughs> uh, which country has won the European Challenge Cup the most? Uh, I'm gonna say probably France. I don't know. I mean, at the time, yeah, I liked her and she was pretty good looking, yeah. I kind of ruined it for myself though, so. Do you think the Welsh rugby team in 2011 was one of the greatest Welsh teams ever? Do you think the Welsh rugby team? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Actually, right, okay, if I get five people saying, yeah, you want to hear the story of what happened with this girl that I liked, say yes now, right? Okay, <laughs> and I'll tell you. I, I generally, I won't hold back. I will generally tell you what happened. It's quite a funny story. We're just waiting for the referee's whistle. We're about to watch the start of the match between Scott Some of you guys might not even be interested Osprey. in my personal life, to be honest. But if you are, it's, it's a funny story and maybe you guys might laugh. I don't know. Evans passes the ball. Excellent offload out of the tackle. There's the tackle. Here's the rock being created. Alright, what have we got? Uh, somebody saying yes. Go on, tell us. Yes. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Uh, right, okay. I will tell you the story. Okay, so basically, in my last year in school, uh, this was before I went to sixth form. I just, well, obviously, I started talking to this girl and I liked it. And there was like kind of like study leave. So I don't know if you guys know what that is, because uh, I don't know what age you are. But study leave was obviously basically you got to be off for like two, three weeks to uh, study. <laughs> the clues in the name. And uh, so in that time, in the study leave, we had to go into revision classes. And I think it was on, I'm pretty sure it was on a weekend, or maybe it was half term. So that was like everybody else was off. Because I remember going into the school and it was completely empty. So there was like just our class there to do English. And uh, so I went there and I texted her beforehand. I said, oh, should we meet up and hang out at the end of it? And she's like, oh, yeah, okay. So we did that. Well, we were going to do that. And then we were in the English revision lesson then and <laughs> I was sitting on my table she was sitting on her table with the rest of her people like and I was talking to one of my best friends at the time don't talk to him anymore but that's another story for another day and I said to him oh mate I really need a piss <laughs> so and, like me being really awkward back then guys what I like I didn't want to leave the room and then come back in because it was just a classroom full of people and it was just silent I just couldn't be asked it was a lush day outside and I just wanted to go outside and just not be in school so basically I said to my mate I said oh mate I really need to go for a to I'd go to the toilet like oh should we just leave <laughs> and uh he was like, yeah, all right, okay. So, like, the two of us were literally the first people to leave the classroom. And uh, then I text the girl that I was supposed to be meeting after. I said, sorry, I said, I, I just, I wanted to leave. I said, do you want to leave with me? And she said, no, I want to stay for all of it, which is fair enough. She wanted to focus on her results. I didn't. <laughs> She's the one in a full-time job now. I'm not. So, you know, maybe, the, I don't know, but... Basically then, what happened after that was, obviously I went off and I hung around with my friend and I said, oh, I'll meet her afterwards, so I said, I'm just going to hang out with my friend, like, and she said, yeah, okay, that's fine. So I went off, we went off for a walk, uh, and I think the revision lesson finished like four hours after it. So obviously, if I was out walking for four hours, you can imagine how far I'd be able to walk. <laughs> in that amount of time so I went out with my friend and then uh, I realised the time and I was like crap I'm half an hour late I'm supposed to go meet her and then I texted her and I was like two miles away from the school and then I said oh I'll be, I'll be there now I wouldn't have been there now it would have taken me ages and then she said too late I'm gone home so I was like great so basically I ruined my chances because I needed to go to the toilet and I, I was just socially awkward so that's what happened guys it's not that funny, but it's also quite ironic because it's like I messed up a date because I needed a wee. 
Awesome. Basically, so. And I remember I met up with her then about three years ago. Just for a casual chat, chat like, because we were kind of like friends anyway. And I asked her about it, and uh, she just, like, didn't want to talk about it. She said she claims that she didn't remember. But her face, like, went completely dull, and she she could remember. <laughs> Imagine if she liked you before. Yeah. She might have. I don't know. I, remember, I think I asked her that question, like, three years ago. And, uh... Again, her face just went completely numb, as if something had, like, terrible had happened in her head. So I just, yeah, just avoided the whole topic then. Maybe in another life. But there you go, guys. That's the first personal story I've told you. What else do you want to know? My love affairs? Uh, am I planning on getting married? Have I got any kids? <laughs> uh. Out of all honesty though, is there anything else you, you guys are generally interested in finding out about me? Because obviously with a lot of YouTubers you want to know like, what they're like and stuff. So if there's anything, feel free to ask a question. If it's just too personal, I won't answer it. Nothing happened after that until three years ago. Yeah, basically, yeah, I never saw her again. <laughs> I think it was because after that, like two months after that, I think I got with somebody else, and then, yeah, and then I think, I, well, I broke up with them like three years ago, and then she came along, I messaged her again to go talk to her, and I did, and then I got with somebody else, and then I don't, well, we just don't talk anymore, so that's just basically what happened. Um, whilst we got, <laughs> everybody's loving the story. Um, how do you show the wind in the game? Is it a real little indicator? The wind is the little dots moving on the floor now. Uh, oh, okay. It's just having your own conversation between the two of you. It's fine. Don't involve me, guys. <laughs> uh, that's not going over. Oh, there's a serious lack of distance on that one. So do any of you watch football then? And what if you do what teams you support? Or if you watch a sport in general? Like me, I obviously I watch football as well. Uh, I watch a bit of American football. Although the only thing that irritates me of that is the amount of stoppages all the time. Ball's taken in by North. Good throw. Oh, I support Liverpool. Oh, okay. Rachel says Liverpool won't win the league. What team do you support? I don't even know what's happening. I'm literally just reading the comments, so I don't know what's happening in this actual game. What have we got? Let me pause it. Uh, you're a Man City fan. Ah, Man City doing quite well. We've got a Liverpool and a Man City fan in the comment section. That must be uh, quite aggravated right now. Just because considering you two are really close in the table. Uh, in the line out, when you and the opposition are com competing for the ball and it goes under slow motion, do you spam all the buttons or just one? I just press one. I literally just press the button that's nearest to the player that you're trying to get the ball from. Uh, you only watch rugby, James Evans. Uh, fully Welsh, you support Borussia Dortmund because you used to live there. Oh, interesting. Toxic Gaming, you support Chelsea. All oh, right, okay. Not a single one of you support a Welsh team. I feel quite offended. <laughs> You've got to adopt a Welsh team now, guys. Being a fan of my channel, you haven't got a choice. So pick a team. Come on. <laughs> James Evans, Man U. Alright, oh, okay. Man U have got a good Welsh player. That's uh, Dan James. Very, very fast player. Shouldn't really be talking about football on a, on a rugby stream, should we? I'll tell you what, you guys finish your conversation. I'll read out the comments and then we'll uh, leave the football chat. <laughs> oh, interception! No! Oh... Uh, I do support the new Saints, best Welsh team in the Welsh League. 
Yeah, they are, yeah. But a lot of people say they're kind of English, but they're not really because they're from Oswestry Street Town. So Oswestry Street Town is a Welsh town, but then it's kind of, it kind of like shares borders with England, so I would say they're more Welsh than anything. I watch American football and some football supporting Ross County. All right, okay. Uh, 2-0 James Evans. All right, okay, that's just a conversation you two can have. Uh, what ship has never docked at Liverpool? The Premier Ship. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. Scarlets should have a rock, and they keep possession. So our curiosity then, everyone, what age group do I actually reach out to? Like, the people watching now, what age are you actually? Like, let me know in the comments. Because might me, myself, I'm 22. And I know I, I did a poll not long ago, finding out the average age and stuff of everybody in them. But I'm on about, like, right now, what sort of age group is watching me. Seventeen. Ah, oh, okay. Scarlets will keep the ball. Come on, Steph Evans. I feel like you haven't ran at all in this game. Scarlets keep the ball. Uh, well, so I saw a YouTuber where you can. I love smaller YouTubers, where you can get to know them on a personal level. <laughs> Alex Mc. What was it again? Hang on, I can get this. Alex McLennan. There we go. I'm fourteen. Uh, do you have another job? I do have another job. Uh, Rachel, you are 15. James Evans, you're 13. Oh, yeah, I have another job. I work in a shop. Obviously, for personal reasons, I'm not going to give away the name of the shop. Uh, but it's not, like, amazing hours. The pay is decent. They pay me for holidays and stuff. Uh, and then, obviously, I make money from this channel as well, as a side thing as well. So it kind of balances the two jobs out together. So, obviously, the more this channel grows, the better this channel becomes, because obviously then I have more time, and if I have more time for this and I make more money from this, then obviously I'm going to focus on this more, whereas right now my main income is my part-time job, so, yeah. Times are hard here in Wales. There's, like, not many jobs around, unless you live in a big town. James Davis. Oh. Come on, try. Um, do you like hockey or cricket? Uh, well, hockey, I I don't watch hockey, right? But I do. Well, I used to play hockey uh, back when I was in, well, yeah, high school. It would have been. I uh, played for the men's hockey team. I nearly had my shin taken off from that. Jesus, a hockey ball hitting you at like 100 miles an hour, is, even with shin pads, it's quite painful. Uh, it's a fun sport, though. I enjoyed playing it. Uh, it just there wasn't enough call for the men's game when it came to the hockey, so I just didn't play it as much as I would have liked. Um, and then cricket, no, cricket just bores me. I'm sorry, like I just never really got into cricket. James Evans looks like you're the youngest, yeah. Um, what is the cup that Man City don't have? Champions League, we won it six times. <laughs> Right, the football debate is still going on by the looks of it. Which club won the English Premiership with the 2017-18 season? Uh, Exeter, wasn't it? No, okay, never mind. Uh, Liverpool won't win the Premier League, though. Cool, I'd say cricket, seeing how well England are doing. <laughs> right, any, is there any other games you want to see me play, guys? You're all so young as well, I've noticed. Well, you're not that young compared to me. I mean, you're like, there's like five years difference. Oh, I'll just play a game I want to play then. Clearly you guys are still talking about football, so... <laughs> play some guy like a premiership, right, okay. I'll play as. Do I play as Gloucester? Yeah, we have Reese Samet. And we'll play against Northampton. Right, 
More comments coming in. Uh, you guys from England or beautiful Wales, play some Gaelic at Premiership. Play as the Bears. How good is Reece Summit? Yeah, we'll do a league playing as Wales. I'm not going to start a league now, obviously, because I'm going to be going in about 20 minutes. But that's enough for about two more games, so... Um, you want me to? See, you want to see the beers? Okay, so I'll, I'll play as Gloucester, and we'll play against the beers then. Uh, Reece Sam, I think, is in the reserves on this game. Yeah, we'll put him on may as well. Do I have him there? Yeah. Um, is he good in real life? See, Reece Samet, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's uh, like scored three tries in one game. He's had hat tricks and stuff all the time. He's really fast. What well, foul has called for an offside? Uh, free kick. No, I don't know. I can't. I'm not concentrating. Um, what's your Insta, bro? I know it's in your intro. Uh, my Insta. Do you want which one do you want? Do you want my personal one where I put stuff up all the time, which is like free to follow anyway, because it's from my like previous channel. So like that would be like me get whenever I do something of interest. I'll put up a picture. Or do you want my rugby one, which I hardly ever use? Literally, you'll be lucky to see one post every six months of the rugby one. <laughs> the rugby one, uh, hang on then, before the game starts, I'll let you know now. England had a good year in the 2019 for sports, getting runner-up in Rugby World Cup and winning the Cup at World Cup. Alex McLennan, you lied, you're 13. Oh, okay. Right, my personal Instagram account is andrew.t.w.h. And then if you want my rugby one, you literally just type in the channel name, rugby, and then just channel after it, obviously, with no spaces. I'm trying to think, have I got any more funny stories to tell you guys from my uh, previous years on this earth? <laughs> uh, let's think. I remember this one time in school. This is the only fight I've ever been in. Do you want, do you want to hear about the only fight I've ever been in in school? How about that one? It's not so much funny, it's just more the fact, like, it's a pretty stupid fight. How about that? Would you want to know that? Charlie Sharples. I'm guessing his name's Charlie, anyway. Um, dropped you follow on personal. Cheers, man. You've got a pretty girlfriend. Oh, thanks. She'll take that compliment very well. She gets more compliments than me, to be honest with you. Uh, so yeah, does anybody want to hear about my well, my first and only proper fight in school? Who wants to hear about that? What have you put? Hang on. Uh, although you do some pretty random posts. You do. <laughs> oh, thanks. I mean, they're not that random. This is my life, like, mate. <laughs> Come on, I haven't got a random life. Not very nice. <laughs> Ban you from the comments. No, I'm joking. Uh, yes, yeah, so you want to hear about this fight. Right, okay. Uh, so basically, what happened, it was me and my three group of friends. No, me and my two other friends were hanging out at lunchtime. And uh, in school, we had this like big grass bank. Uh, we used to call it Teletubby Hill, because if, if you've ever seen the Teletubbies, the big hill that they're on, that's what we used to call it, because it literally looked like that. Anyway, uh, we were out there, and we had this other friend, which didn't really talk much. He always liked to just sit in the background by himself. 
So, and with our humour, it was always kind of like trying to get people involved, but also being quite annoying. If it makes sense, as any kid usually is. Uh, so we had this empty plastic bottle, like an empty cheap bo water bottle, you know, like the thing you get in a shop for like 50p. And uh, it was nothing in it. And I was like, oh, should we get him to come over here? So we were just checking at him every now and again. He kept checking it back at us. So I was like, right, well, surely then he'd come over and talk, you know. We're, as we, we kept doing it. It must have been about 10 times. And he just kept checking it back at us. He wasn't interested. So we gave up in the end, and we were just literally had our backs to him because we were just talking amongst ourselves. And then all of a sudden, then my friends that I was talking to, their eyes just lit up like, like as if something was behind me. And I was like, <laughs> I literally turned around, and this boy that we were trying to get involved to talk to us literally was about to throw a punch at me. So I blocked him. I, I uppercut him to the head. And uh, then he swung at me, and I blocked him again. And I think my finger, I said, must have got caught on his watch strap. And uh, anyway, then he like moved his arm, and he was like, "Oh my God, get off me!" Like that. He was, he was quite posh, by the way. And uh, yeah, and then his, his watch just broke, and he started crying. <laughs> Uh, it's quite a pathetic story to be honest with you. He started crying and then uh, he said, oh my god, you broke my watch. And I was like, alright. I said, you, you're the one that threw the punch first. like." And uh, he started accusing me of breaking his watch then. And he said, this watch is £300, him being a rich kid. It's a diving watch, it's waterproof. And I'm just like, well, who brings a diving watch to school? What are you planning on diving into? Uh, anyway, he, he, he cried, went to the uh, head of year then. And uh, he said to him, Sir, he broke my watch. And uh, he, the head of year said, Literally the funniest thing going, because this boy was crying his eyes out, bear in mind, right? Head of year turns out, It's alright, you can get it fixed, just get a new link. And then he's like, well, it's, not, it's, a spe it's an expensive watch. And then he's like, No, it's fine, don't worry. Watches break. And then he just walked off to carry on doing what he was doing. So I was like, Oh, anyway, I, don't, I got away with it. So that was the story about my first ever fight and my only fight. Uh, what else have we got going on in the comments? Uh, yes, fight, fight. Joke, bro. Andrew is the next Conor McGregor. <laughs> yeah. Big win for rugby, yeah. Diving into your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was doing. He's going to dive into your girl's DMs. <laughs> uh, no, he's a, he's a weirdo now. That's I heard of him. He literally it says it all. It, it literally says if you have money, when you're a boy and you're in your twenties and your pro your profile picture is you on a horse, and he does rowing. And why is rowing a thing that mainly only rich kids do? I don't know. I'm not like criticizing if you do rowing yourself, but it just seems to be like the stereotypical. That's what people with money usually do. I don't know, maybe it's just a thing down here then. I don't know, it's, or maybe it's just me noticing these things. That's kind of pathetic. Yeah, it is, mate. <laughs> it is a pathetic fight, I know. I was just trying to be nice. I was trying to get him involved in our conversations, and he threw a punch at me. Although now, if it happened now, yeah, he, he, there wouldn't be much of him left. That's not me, like, trying to hype myself up. It's just because he's not exactly, a, he's not a nice person. I remember before being in school, like, and it was me and my group of friends, and we were, like, sitting in the corridor, and there was a fire exit behind us, and, like, that's where you'd go to get to this hill where everybody would hang around. And uh, he decided to just push between all of us, and literally, like, he didn't even say anything. He just pushed us all out the way, and I obviously swore at him. I can't say it because I've got younger viewers watching this, as you guys would know. I can't, I don't swear on this channel. And uh, literally, I said, you're supposed to effing say excuse me and they would have like went behind him and pushed him out of that fire exit and he went flying and then he just carried on walking like nothing happened that's the sort of person he was i was just like oh my god like he'd rather carry on just being like oh nothing ever happened rather than saying sorry so yeah he, he's he's an idiot I, i've got a lot of words i want to say for him but i can't uh what else we got Anyone watch the WWE Royal Rumble? I don't watch wrestling. Last time I watched wrestling was like, God, I think I stopped watching it in like 2008. 
How many times are you planning to stream, bro? I'm enjoying this a lot. Uh, like I said, this is actually going to be my last stream for a while now. Because uh, I can only do live streams when I'm up at my girlfriend's. Uh, and that's when I bring the PlayStation with me. So obviously the PlayStation's going back with me today. Uh, so maybe about two more weeks time or something like that. Um, Liverpool won't win the Premier League. Hell no, that is... Yeah, I'm not going to say that. How do you deal with internet trolls who hate on other rugby teams? What do you mean? I've dealt with a lot of trolls over the years anyway. Even if, like I said, I've had death threats put at me before. Like, no word of lie. I know that sounds really extreme, but I actually have. Going back in my like previous channel and stuff, when I've been doing like the exploring videos and stuff. And somebody hasn't liked my video. They've literally turned around and said, like, I should die and all that. Like, you just got to laugh at it. There's, there's no point in just to go like letting it affect you. People are pathetic these day and ages, and there's literally no point of getting down about stuff. Like with me, like the slightest serious thing, unless somebody has died or something serious has happened, you just gotta grab life and just laugh at it. I find I'm the worst person to laugh in like a, a serious situation. I've been like in school before, and the teacher's no word of a lie been laying into me. I was laying into a group of us, like, and I started laughing. And she was like, don't you start laughing. What is wrong with you? And I'm just like, okay, sorry. Sorry. I don't know. You might notice in my videos with my face cam on, I smile a hell of a lot. I mean, it, it can be a good thing in some ways, but obviously when it comes to serious situations, it's quite awkward. Uh, where in Wales are you? I'm from uh, Pembrokeshire. Obviously, I want to say as well, if any of you actually work out where I'm from, please don't put it in the comments. Because obviously, you don't want to give away locations. Same as some of you, like you say, the gist of where you're from, I could probably pinpoint where you're from, but I'm not going to. Just out of sheer respect from you guys, so... Uh, G gotta go, I'll watch and be in your streams. Okay, man, cheers. But yeah, hopefully you guys have been enjoying my stories from uh, the past. It's quite fun, obviously, explaining them to like you guys because obviously I don't know you personally so but it is quite nice I mean like I don't really have a lot of people to talk to this day and age obviously with my job it requires talking to a lot of customers and stuff and like I could talk for bloody ages but when it comes down to actual proper chats and stuff I don't really have it too much I have it with my family and I have my girlfriend and stuff but people around here like they don't really want to know you I find like, you'll try and make an effort to talk to someone and they're just not interested. Or they'll reply to you and it's like, oh yeah, mate, fancy hanging out. And then they'll just deliberately ignore you. And it's like, oh, cheers. I remember the time when I was when I was there for you and stuff. But, oh yeah, you're clearly not here for me. I don't know. I just, I, I just can't be asked to people. This is coming from a guy that does talks to bloody hundreds of people and stuff on YouTube and works with people. I just can't be bothered. Yeah, Gary Bevan, I've had to remove your comment because, like I said, I don't want people... Like, some of you guys might have seen what he's just put, but I don't want the location of where I'm from being mentioned. Like, obviously, I trust most of you, but there's a lot of people going to be watching this. There's only 14 watching it now, but obviously, when it's uploaded and all, there's going to be a lot of people watching it. Cause you know my videos reached, like, three, 400 people. And I don't want people knowing where I'm exactly from, so... Um, I think that's where... Uh, how do you drop a donation? I don't think you can. I don't think... No, there isn't. At the moment, there isn't. Um, why? Do you think that's something I should bring in? Do you like fishing? Is Wales a good place to fish for brown trout? Uh, my family is big into fishing. 
Although, me, myself, like, when it comes to fishing with me, I've always grown up and I was always dragged on the fishing trips. And I just found them really boring. Uh, let me just answer this question. How many clubs took part in the 2018-19 European Champions Cup? I'm going to say 20. Yeah, I was always dragged to go fishing and I was just like, ah, oh, well, I wasn't really interested in it that much. I quite like the scenery and I quite like, go like I said, I'm big into outdoors and I'm big into exploring stuff. But when it comes to just standing still, fishing isn't really for me. Uh, so I never really liked it as a kid and that's why I don't really like it now. Uh, but yeah, fishing in Wales is quite popular. My family does it a lot. There's a lot of really good beaches around here. I couldn't tell you. Uh, I think brown trout, isn't that in the river? Uh, I know there's a lot of fisheries and stuff around where I'm from, in Pembrokeshire. Uh, where you obviously have to pay to go and fish in there. Uh, fully Welsh, you were going to give a donation. Ah, oh, well, maybe I'll look into it in the future then, of maybe enabling that now that I'm doing live streams. Because uh, it's been fun to do this. I think this has actually been the best live stream I'm d I've done. Because uh, a lot of you guys have actually been talking back and stuff. And I've been talking more about myself and like talk like getting all of you guys involved rather than just discussing rugby 20 uh it's been, so it's been quite fun i've enjoyed it uh gotta start all the debutants and jared evans oh, who's just starting 15 against italy all oh, right okay a conversation going on between the two of you is it or me maybe it's me i don't know uh starting 15 against italy i would probably go for I would say the main players are obviously going to be Alan Wynn Jones. I'd probably go for Dan Bigger at number 10. Uh, although I would like to see Anscombe back, but I think he's still injured at the moment. Um, I want to see Reece Samet on the wing. Uh, I think fullback has got to be Liam Williams. I think Josh Adams has to be on the other wing. I'd move George North to centre. Uh, Jonathan Davis, I think, is out injured. So from the backs, I'd probably say Liam Williams fullback. Uh, then I would probably go the two centers would have to be Hadley Parks and George North two wingers and Josh Adams and then I would go for Reese Samet uh, number 10 Dan Bigger number 9 Gareth Davis although maybe Reese Webb on the bench and bring him on afterwards uh, number 8 I would have liked to seen Faletau but I think Faletau is now out oh he's back is he? I thought Faletau was out injured I could have sworn they said he was out injured uh, then number 7 I'd have Tipperick uh, number six, maybe Lydia. I mean, we haven't seen Lydia in a long time. But then, is he even picked? I don't think he's picked, is he? Uh, five, then Alwyn Jones. And then the rest. I didn't, does anybody actually pay attention to the props? Because I never really do. Maybe it's just me. When it comes to props, I'm never really fussed on who they've picked. Thomas Williams. Oh, you pick him, would you? I think Thomas Williams is good as well, but I've always felt down... Lin uh, not down... What am I on about? I've always felt Gareth Davis has offered more when it comes to it. Uh, Thomas Williams for me, there's only, what, only Hadley Parks as an actual centre. Yeah, I think George North isn't as great as he used to be on the wing, so I'd put him as centre now. Hey, I've got one follower on Instagram. That must be you, Fully Welsh. I won't read out your name. Again, I'd, I'd, unless you want me to. Uh... But yeah, thanks for the follow. Uh, what else we got? Falatau is in the squad. Alright, oh, okay. I thought he went back injured. Uh, I'd have Falatau at number 8 then. Lydia 8 in the squad. No. As we say each year, what French team turns up? As we say each year, what French team turns up? As in, what, what French team do I think is going to turn up? Uh, it all, I don't know, it's so tough to predict what French team is actually going to turn up. It's always like, how are they going to play? I mean, in the when it comes to World Cups, they play pretty well. And then when it comes to any other time, they don't seem to play very well. I mean, I think they've got really good players, but they don't seem to gel. And like, I'm really disappointed we've never got, never got to see the full extent of how good Teddy Thomas is. Uh, since that Scotland game, he never really came back. Unless something obviously happened. It depends what actually happened. Uh, if it's something really like, like drunkenly disorder or something like that, then I would say have him back in the team. Whereas if he was like being sexist or racist, then obviously he can't come back in the team. So I'd like to see him back anyway. Depend, like I said, depending on what the situation is. Do I think Italy should be in the Six Nations, or would it be better to have five nations back? No, Italy should stay in it. It's what the Six Nations is about. 
Um, Reese Carey, Rob Evans, Wynn Jones, Elliot D. Oh, okay, this is this is your team, is it? Or this is your forwards? Tolufi Fanta, Ross. Oh, okay, this is the full team. You're giving me the full team here, right, okay? Gareth Davis. Da, 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 yeah. That's the team. Okay, cheers, man. I've, I've seen it before. Like I said, it's just when it comes to forwards, nobody ever memorizes the forwards. Well, I don't, anyway. Um. No, that's the squad. Copied and pasted. All right, okay. Right, guys, I'm going to give it about 10 more minutes. Well, maybe 5 or 10 more minutes, because then I've got to go, because I've got to pack everything up. Uh, so, any more questions, keep them coming in. 100% keep Italy in the Six Nations. Yeah, like I said, Italy, they have to stay in the Six Nations. It's what it is. They're the fat one of the, not founding unions, but they are a big union that needs to stay in it. They f like With them being in the Six Nations, it helps them fund the, their regions of Trevisio and Zebra and it helps grow the sport in Italy again. So, like, by not having that, I think it would, they'd, literally rugby wouldn't really exist again in Italy properly. So, yeah, they have to stay in it. My team would be Wynn Jones, uh, Owen Rudd. Uh, that's a decent team, yeah. I would say go for that one, yeah. McNichol this is a good player. Uh, play an online match. No, mate, I, I'm literally just answering questions now because I've got to go. Uh, exactly what I would pick. Oh, that's about the team that I just called out. So any more questions coming in, please let me know. I've really enjoyed doing this stream. It's actually been really, really fun. Like I said, this has got to be one of the best streams I've actually done. And if you do want to see more of them, I will happily do them in the future. Maybe even this weekend, but then it'll probably be late this weekend. As in, when I say late, it'll, it'll probably be about 11 o'clock at night, late. But hey, you get to talk to me then whilst I'm having a drink. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, no problem, man. I'm not going yet. Like I said, if there's any more questions coming in, feel free to ask them, but I will be going very, very soon. Am I going to do Six Nations match re previews and reviews? I'm not going to do previews, just because I got a lot of hate for the previews when I was doing the World Cup. And, like, I know some of you will probably say, yeah, but you shouldn't really focus on the hate. I don't. Like, no word of a lie, I literally think the hate I get for some of the things is really petty, and I delete a lot of them. I mean, I think the most recent one somebody said was, uh, but I have no idea about rugby and that I shouldn't bother doing videos and I should just like delete the channel. And I was like, isn't that a bit petty? I mean, okay, fair enough. I'm not like exactly coaching standards, but I have an idea. So that's what I mean. I don't really, I don't, I can't be asked for all the hate. So I'm going to be doing the reaction videos afterwards, uh, but I'm not doing the previews anymore. Uh, Saracens in the Port Pro 14. Yeah, that would be interesting. I would like to see that, personally. I mean, I've always kind of liked seeing new teams in the Pro 14. Uh, whether that will happen or not, I don't know. They've accepted relegation, so I doubt it will happen. Um, if you watch bigger YouTubers' streams, you never an they never answer their questions. No. Well, hopefully I've answered all your questions, anyway. Uh, what good Rugby 20 YouTubers do you know apart from consistent walkthroughs? I say I don't know any. I know the rugby guru. I literally helped him start up his channel. I d originally designed his logo and his uh, YouTube cover for him. Gave him some advice and stuff. And his channel's grown into quite a bit. I think he might even use the same editing software as me. So he asked me about that as well. Uh, so go check him out. Uh, I mean, obviously his content is shorter and stuff than mine because I edit the hell out of my videos. Uh, but if you want like the sort of I wouldn't say basic, but like, cause I like his channel. I like what he does. He's like very quick with his updates and stuff. Uh, but if you want more, I'd say simplified videos, because obviously he doesn't ed edit them as much as I do. If you want more videos like that, then I'd say go go watch him. Um, in the future, would you play some of us online on Rugby 20? Uh, maybe. I mean, that all very that varies. I mean, like I had that question yesterday, and I was kind of like. I don't know, because it's like talking to a stranger. Like, right now, I'm just reading your text. We're all having a laugh and stuff. And it's, But it's not like you're here in person. If you were here in person, like, if you came into where I worked, 
I'm not, obviously I'm not gonna, you don't actually do that, it'd be weird. But if, if that was to actually happen, I wouldn't be as awkward as I would be talking to somebody on the microphone. It's like with me, I always, I hate talking on the phone. I find like talking on the phone, I'm just like, oh God, please don't be anybody awkward. Like I just, I hate it. I'll happily talk to my family members and maybe friends and my girlfriend, but I don't want to talk to anybody else. It's like, I, I'm one of these people that are like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll just email the company that I want to talk to. I'm like, oh, why don't you ring them? No, no, I'll email them. They haven't replied though. Oh yeah, I, I'll, I'll just send them another email. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe. If there's enough call for it, I will try my best to get over the fear of talking to people. 22-year-old <laughs> uh, afraid of talking to people. That sounds so stupid. Is there any way we can donate money to you if you don't mind me asking, please? Yeah, I'm going to try and enable that for next time. Uh, I haven't actually set that up, but if you do want to, if you are interested in doing that, I will happily do that for next time. Because uh, we've discussed so much here. I'll, I'll give you some more funny stories and stuff next time as well. Because uh, it's been really, really fun talking to you all. Can you open one epic player's pack? Uh, right, okay, fine. Just before I go, yeah? Nobody decent. We had an unofficial New Zealand player again. Um, did I watch the Quins vs Saracens? No, I didn't watch that. I don't really watch English Premiership, to be honest with you. Uh, I used to watch the Pro 14 a lot, but since they went over to pay per view telly, and it's not available on Now TV, Now TV or anything like that, I don't really watch Club Rugby that much. Uh, when it's on the free to watch channels, for example, like Channel 4 and Channel 5, I try to watch them. But since the Ospreys were knocked out of the European Cup, I haven't watched any rugby, well, club rugby since. How do you redesign the kit and how do I send my team in? Uh, redesigning the kit of my squad. You go onto my squad. Uh, you click your team. So you can have four different slots. You click that. You click customize. And then you can redesign from there. Okay, is that everybody's questions answered? Literally, I'm going in literally about one minute from now, okay? So if you have any questions, please get them coming in right now, because otherwise I will be finishing the stream. Because I've literally been streaming, it's got to be like nearly two hours now, maybe over. Uh, oh no, mate, your videos make my kit... Oh, make my kit Friday. Uh, literally, go on to the latest episode and comment the team that you want me to do. With that, I've literally made... A load of episodes up until the end of February so the newer kits obviously will be done after that in the other videos uh, bear in mind I've got so many names coming through so it's gonna take a lot of time uh, but yeah if you want your kit shown then obviously go ahead on to the latest one and comment um, in school I learned about Owen Glendur last year he was a hero it is a pity not a film about him yeah, Owen Glendour, yeah, that, we always learned about that as well. Another one is uh, Gellert the Dog. I don't know if you guys know what Gellert the Dog is. It's about uh, a dog that saved a father and his baby. I don't know if you've heard that one, but it was like, ah, uh, I can't remember the full story. It was a family, there was a, a man. Yeah, so there was a family. So it was a mother, a father, and a baby, and they had a dog called Gellert. And the father went out hunting one day, and I think the mother went to go get food? Or maybe the mother, maybe there was no mother. But anyway, the moral of the story was the father went out, and there was nobody else in the house. And the dog was looking after the baby, and a wolf got in. And uh, they started attacking and stuff. And I think the baby was covered in blood and all. And the father then came home and found the baby covered in blood. And then he, I think he killed the dog. And then he found out there was a dead wolf then. And then he realised then that Gellert was actually a hero and he protected the baby. You never learned about Owen Glendur? Oh, you have to look him up, mate. I can't remember everything about it. It was like you'd ask me something that happened back in 2014. Or maybe even 13. It's now 2020. It was like seven years ago. <laughs> I don't remember that stuff. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to have to go, guys, right? Because okay? literally... I have like five minutes, okay? So thank you everybody for so much for watching. 
uh, and I will see you in another stream. Obviously, I've got a video coming out every single day, so stay tuned for them. You guys are enjoying them. Uh, like I said, if you have any recommendations for Make My Kit Friday, go ahead onto the latest episode and uh, comment the one you want. Uh, and yeah, I will, I'll, I'll literally look forward to next time I stream because it's been really, really fun. Uh, I'll remember some more funny stories and stuff to tell you because you guys have enjoyed it. And I'll try and set up the donations as well, okay? Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go ahead and leave a like to show your support for this stream. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in tomorrow's episode of Solo Mode. Peace out guys, and Dioch.